Hello, gemstone hunter. What if that ugly, dull, rough rock you kicked aside without giving it a second thought is hiding rare diamonds inside? It's strange to imagine that something so valuable could be wrapped in such an awkward appearance. But that's exactly the kind of surprise nature loves to prepare for those who know how to observe carefully. There's a simple visual detail, almost imperceptible to ordinary eyes, that reveals when a common rock hides precious crystals, and almost no one knows how to recognize it. It's as if the earth speaks through microtextures, small internal sparkles, and subtle signs that remain invisible to those who live too quickly. The most curious thing is that the ugliest stones are often the ones that hold the most impressive treasures, and this completely changes how someone sees the mineral world. When a person learns to perceive these signs, the ground ceases to be just ground and becomes a map full of hidden possibilities. And before revealing this secret code, let me ask you a quick favor. If this kind of discovery sparks something in you, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel because this helps a lot and ensures you continue learning secrets that almost no one talks about. Now, get ready, because what comes next delves even deeper into this journey. Imagine someone holding an opaque, rough, heavy rock, devoid of any apparent beauty, unaware that within it lies a microscopic brilliance capable of redefining their entire perception of the mineral world. It's almost poetic to think that the Earth hides its most valuable treasures behind such common surfaces, as if testing who truly knows how to look beyond appearances. Since the first prospectors, this truth has accompanied humanity. Value is rarely revealed immediately. The ancients already perceived this when collecting stones from riverbeds, trusting intuition more than apparent brilliance. They knew that simplicity can hold greatness, and that the extraordinary sometimes wears the clothes of the ordinary. The curious thing is that this same logic repeats itself throughout nature, as if it were a universal pattern. What truly matters is usually hidden. The person who learns to respect this mystery begins to see the world with a kind of sensitivity that few develop. And when they hold such a rock between their fingers, something within them awakens as if perceiving that an entire miniature universe exists hidden there. This kind of perception begins like this, with the enchantment of observing what everyone else ignores, and deepens even further when we realize that many of history's greatest diamonds were found exactly like this, dormant inside rocks that anyone would kick without a second thought. The Cullinan diamond, for example, was born inside a block of kimberlite that looked more like a deformed piece of coal the Hope Diamond, which now fascinates museums, came from such a discrete matrix that miners almost missed it. This shows how the Earth works silently, hiding genius behind ugliness, as if to say, only those who deserve it will discover it. And this kind of knowledge is not just historical, it's philosophical. It teaches that the world is full of things that only reveal their value when we decide to look deeper. Those who learn to respect this principle gain a rare advantage. They begin to see opportunities where no one else sees anything. The mentor knows this and guides the viewer calmly, almost like someone telling a story around a campfire. He describes the feeling of holding a seemingly useless rock and discovering in its small, almost spiritual signs that something precious sleeps inside. And when this awareness begins to take hold, it paves the way for something even more revealing, the discovery of the concrete signs that indicate a diamond-bearing rock. When I tell someone how to recognize a rock that might hide a diamond, it's like opening an invisible vault that's always been there, just ignored. Over the years, I've learned that each suspect stone carries clues left by the earth itself, a silent invitation for those who know how to observe. The first clue is the granular texture. When I run my fingers over it and feel that irregular aspect with micrograins that seem crystallized, my inner alarm goes off. Then, I like to illuminate the rock with a strong light. If small translucent points appear, like micro windows left by time, I know there might be something special there. It's almost hypnotic to see these internal glimmers emerging from nowhere, as if the stone were breathing light from within. 
and every time this happens, I realize how much an attentive gaze transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. Many people miss these signs because they're too busy, but when I teach someone to observe, it's like handing them a new pair of eyes. And that's just the beginning, because recognizing a diamond-bearing rock goes far beyond what the surface shows. Over time, I discovered that understanding the science behind these rocks changes everything. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Just curiosity. When I see a glassy granulation, that subtle shine reminiscent of illuminated wet sugar, I know I'm looking at a matrix with deep minerals, natural companions of the diamond. I often find small luminous points trapped inside the rock, like shy crystals trying to tell a secret. This happens because the diamond rarely appears exposed. It remains hidden, trapped in the internal structure of the matrix, protected from the hurried gaze. The truth is that the ugliest rocks, those with irregular cracks, strange bubbles, and aggressive textures, are precisely the ones I value most during a search. I've seen beginners miss great opportunities because they were looking for shine on the surface, without knowing that the true brilliance resides within. And when I realized this for the first time, it was as if the earth had whispered a lesson. Those who only look at what is beautiful miss what is valuable. From then on, I began to investigate each ugly rock as if searching for a hidden answer. The turning point, at least for me, was understanding that diamonds love to hide in the most deceptive appearances. I found rocks that looked like broken cement that held tiny crystals, shining like sleeping stars. And I've heard stories of experienced prospectors who ignored smooth, perfect stones to bet on the deformed ones and hit the jackpot. This debunks the idea that a rough diamond should shine on the outside. The rough diamond, in fact, is discreet, almost shy, and only reveals itself to those who know how to interpret the clues. I myself have had the pleasure of illuminating an ugly, seemingly useless rock, and seeing a point of light emerge from within, as if the stone were saying, now you've found me. This feeling changes everything, because from that moment on, every stone you see along the way takes on a new meaning. And when this curiosity is reborn within a person, I know they are ready to take the next step, to test, with their own hands, whether that rock truly has the potential to reveal something precious. Through experience, I've realized that identifying a diamond-bearing rock is an art that blends science and sensitivity. When I illuminate a stone and see small, almost imperceptible internal windows appear, I know it's a sign that something inside may shine much brighter than the exterior suggests. I also pay attention to the texture of the matrix when I feel resistant grains mixed with friable areas, I immediately recall the extreme conditions in which diamonds are born, pressed deep within the Earth's mantle. It's like holding a time capsule between my fingers, laden with geological history. Each rock seems to tell a different chapter, and when I learn to listen, I discover that they reveal much more than they show. And it is this silent listening that guides me to what really matters, knowing, in practice, whether the rock deserves further investigation. As the observer understands these signs with me, they also begin to realize that the next step is inevitable, applying simple tests that confirm whether there might be a diamond waiting to be found there. When I truly began to understand what I was looking for among the stones, everything changed. I realized that certain signs don't depend solely on color, but on how light seems to leak from within the stone. It's a discreet, almost shy glow that appears when you turn the mineral at the right angle, as if it were trying to reveal itself only to those who are truly paying attention. Often, these are small internal fractures, metallic spots, or that greasy sheen that indicates a special composition. Minerals that indicate gold and diamonds are rarely obvious. They have a more hidden charm. The first time I noticed this, I felt like I had deciphered a secret code of nature. And even today, every time I find this internal reflection, my heart races, because it's almost never a coincidence. By the way, if you've ever noticed this type of glow in a stone you've found, comment below so I know, and leave a like to encourage the hunt. Over time, I began to notice a curious pattern. Some stones act as true natural warnings. When I'm exploring new terrain, 
What really makes me stop are repetitions. Three, four, five stones with similar hues, mainly burnt red, dark green, or metallic black. This usually indicates the presence of elements like iron, manganese, or chromium, which tend to appear in areas rich in gold and sometimes in zones with diamond potential. The most surprising thing is that these signs sometimes appear in tiny, almost imperceptible stones. I analyze texture, weight, and even smell, because yes, stones reveal a lot when you rub them. It's like learning a silent language of the earth. And if you've ever found any of these colors during your searches, comment on which one caught your attention the most. I want to know about your experiences. The biggest secret of this journey was understanding what to ignore. In the beginning, I let myself be fooled by any exaggerated shine and immediately thought I had found something valuable. Today, when I see an overly mirrored, almost metallic shine, I already know it might just be mica trying to show off. The minerals that truly matter shine differently, with depth and subtlety. I also pay attention to the surroundings. The stone alone doesn't tell the whole story. The soil, the color of the earth, the amount of heavy gravel and even the slope of the terrain help decipher the scene. When two or three clues start to fit together, my instinct activates immediately. And if you've already fallen into the trap of false shine, leave a comment saying, I've been fooled too, just so I know I'm not alone in this learning phase. And leave a like if this insight helped you. But nothing beats the moment when all the clues come together. That's when I find a deep green with that oily sheen indicating chrome, a metallic black with above average weight suggesting magnetite, and a burnt red showing oxidation. When these colors appear together, it's as if the terrain is shouting, pay attention. Many of the most interesting discoveries I've ever made have come from exactly this combination. It's not just technique, it's training, sensitivity, and accumulated experience. It's almost like developing a mineral sixth sense. And the more you repeat the process, the more accurate it becomes. In fact, if you've ever felt this prospector's instinct at some point, comment below what the situation was. And of course, if this content is helping you see the world of stones in a different way, don't forget to leave a like because that helps me a lot to continue bringing knowledge to you. You know what always fascinates me? The way nature hides its greatest treasures in the most unlikely places, almost laughing in our faces while we pass by distracted. I've seen stories of diamonds discovered in rocks that literally look like pieces of broken cement. And I'm not exaggerating at all. I remember a Brazilian prospector who found a priceless crystal in a friable rock, the kind that crumbles when you hold it in your hand. And yet, inside, there was a fragment of brilliance that changed his destiny. These stories are repeated in various parts of the world, from discrete streams to areas that nobody paid any attention to. And it's curious how many of these discoveries come precisely from ordinary people, not experts. People who decided to train their eye, to trust that intuition that nudges and says, wait a minute, this looks different. It's as if the universe rewards those who observe what everyone else ignores. And look, the more I study this world, the more I realize that every ugly rock I find can hide something that nobody imagines. And that possibility, in itself, makes any walk more exciting. What's most impressive is that these discoveries, when analyzed later, always show the same pattern. Diamonds hidden inside completely ordinary rocks, forgotten beside trails, riverbanks, dry ravines, or even in vacant lots where no one would set foot twice. It's almost symbolic, as if the earth holds its secrets for people who dare to look beyond the surface. And when you begin to understand this, it's inevitable to perceive the larger metaphor behind it all. Sometimes, the greatest brilliance in our lives is trapped precisely within what seems unremarkable, simple, without any potential. And that's why training your eye to see these rocks isn't just a technical skill. It's an exercise in perception, in sensitivity. It's learning to see possibilities where the whole world has already given up looking. And if even experts miss opportunities like this, what about those who have never really tried to look? The great irony is that the treasures appear precisely to those who aren't content with the first impression, 
And this opens a much wider path than just finding diamonds. Sometimes I find myself thinking about how many opportunities I've let slip away simply because, at first glance, they seem too simple, uninteresting, almost like ugly stones, not worth a second look. And the more I talk to other people, the more I realize this is almost universal. Life hides value where no one expects it, just like diamonds trapped inside rocks you'd kick without a second thought. And when we understand this, everything changes. The way we observe people, projects, dreams, ideas that still seem raw changes. Just like a diamond-like rock, that which has true value almost never reveals its brilliance right away. It reveals itself slowly, in detail, with patience, with a trained eye. And that's where a different, deeper perception is born, transforming life as a whole. Suddenly, you begin to see the invisible, to notice hidden opportunities, to trust your own interpretation of the world, even when no one else notices anything special. And this sensitivity, almost like a sixth sense, is exactly what prepares the ground for an even more powerful next step. One that begins to make everything make sense. If you truly want to start seeing what most people ignore and discover where diamonds might be hidden, comment below, I want to find diamonds, if you're ready to train your eye and identify a real diamond-bearing rock. I've been down this path and I know that every detail makes a difference, so it's essential to practice and pay attention to the clues that nature leaves for those who truly observe. In the meantime, leave a like, because it really helps me continue bringing you valuable tips. And of course, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell, because each video is an opportunity to learn something that can completely change the way you see stones opportunities, and even life. This is the time to move beyond casual observation and start acting to transform curiosity into real discovery. The more you practice, the faster you learn to recognize signs that most people never notice. And I guarantee, the feeling of identifying a rock with a diamond is something you won't forget. And it starts now with this simple step of attention and action. So, the next time you come across an ugly, brittle, and dull rock, remember, it might be hiding the most valuable mineral on Earth, waiting for someone who knows how to see beyond appearances. Nature likes to hide its treasures in plain sight, and only those who train their eye can perceive the subtlest signs. Every stone you find is an opportunity to discover something that most people would never notice. And if you want to continue learning incredible tricks to identify hidden riches, don't miss the next video that's appearing on your screen now. The plants that reveal hidden deposits of rubies and diamonds. There you will see how the flora itself can be a natural guide to finding precious minerals. Pay attention, observe, and continue exploring with curiosity, because the real value lies in what few see. See you later, gemstone hunter.